Hallelujah.
change our individual life. I can't change your life. You can't change me. You can pray for one another, but you can't change your individual. Amen. Only the word of Yahweh Only. can bring the change. Hallelujah. We can talk about a change. That's not change. Because we're only talking about it. Change is really when it happens. That's reality. That's truth. That's real. Amen. Can others see changes in you? We can't see the changes in believers. Amen. Even the Bible say you know a tree by the fruit. Yes, it bears. So if you connect it to Yahshua, the true vine, you can't help but bring forth some good fruit. That's it. I'm not talking about imitation fruit. Because we all can act. Amen. Oh, yeah, we're, we're great actors. <laughs> we better than some Hollywood actors. <laughs> but it don't last long. It's just an act. But when the real deal take place, yeah. nobody else has to know it. You know it yourself. Because you find yourself not doing what you used to do. You find yourself not saying what you used to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you find yourself hungry and thirst after more of Yahweh. Because once he changed things in your life, you said, oh man, if he, does, he did that for me, what else can he do? Right. Amen. Because he's ever changing. We're ever changing. Yeah. And he's ever moving Yahweh. Mm. I mean, no, Yahweh just don't set still. <laughs> he's moving, right? That's right? He's a mobile Yahweh. <laughs> Amen. Just because you don't do it, mm -hmm. he got 50,000 more, many more, 
I don't want to put a number on it, but he got many more that would do it. Willing and ready to do it. Without any murmuring, ain't complaining. Amen. Amen. But he wants you to do it. If you have signed your hands to something to do, praise Yahweh. Amen. So, a lot of us should be well, well adverse in the word. That's the right word. <coughs> Rehearse in the word. Amen. And not just to speak it, but do it. But that's what counts the most. Amen. I didn't get all to say, but y'all ready to level heart. He says, it's not, it's not the hear of the word. It's amazing. It's not the hear of the word. But it's the doer of the word that means so much. Amen. Amen. Here Paul was talking to the church at Ephesus, tied in where we are. Amen. Hallelujah. For by grace that we are what? Saved. Faith. Through who? Faith. Faith. And it's not of yourself. It is the gift of Yahweh. Yes. Nothing we can do to earn salvation. I don't care how good you work, how long you work, and I may come to elaborate on that, but, but it's, it's, it's about faith. Yes. Receiving it by what? Faith. faith. That you know you're saved. Amen. Amen. And not a worse these any man should what? Boast. Because if we do it ourselves, we have something to brag about. We are boast about it. We only can boast on Yahshua. And it wasn't for the grace of Yahweh, I wouldn't be saved. If it wasn't for the grace of Yahweh that touched my heart, I wouldn't be saved. If it wasn't for the grace of Yahweh that turned, took me off that wrong road I was on, I wouldn't be saved today. But I thank him, thank him. that he saw enough to touch me. Amen. Not that he wasn't touching you all the time. It just that you ain't know of the call. Mm -hmm. But when you finally answer the call, mm -hmm. you say, Yahweh, I thank you. I thank you. Amen. There's a different change that takes place in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. For we are his work, workmanship, creating in Messiah Yeshua unto what? Good, good works. works. So you can do no good works to after you got saved. Mm -hmm. Now your works count. Which Yahweh before had, had ordained that we should walk in them. Amen. Let's go back to his feet. We were talking about for Philippians. Yahweh was on a horse a few weeks ago and talking about Philippians. Paul was sharing some things with the Philippian church. And we got down to murmuring and complaining. And we kind of good at that used to be. <laughs> but we don't do it anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. We just accept what it is because everything Yahweh does is good. Yeah. He didn't say good, he said very good. Very good. Even the weather, how hot, if you get 110, it's still good. It's still good. If you get three below, it's still, it's still good. good. And Yahweh is still in control. Hallelujah. You feel like we're freezing, but that's all right. He's going to keep you. Amen? So we shouldn't murmur and complain. Hallelujah. And he talked about it, we shouldn't murmur and complain with one another. Uh, we should not allow the world to see saints argue and debate Yahweh's word. Amen. I'm just kind of rehearsing. Just bear with me this morning. Not long. You know how the Holy Spirit. Just a few verses that He wants to elaborate on. Praise Yahweh this morning. Praise Him this morning. Amen. 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 And 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 He's good. And we have to hold fast to His word. Once we are born again, He wants to do His desire. We are share last week. We have our desire, but He wants to do His desire. Praise Him this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the righteous love to do the desires of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. The, the word read as does, wherefore my beloved, wherefore my beloved, I'm looking at 2 and 12, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation yes. with fear and what? Tremble. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, you reverence it. You, mm. take, you take pride in being saved. Yeah. You, you guard it with your life. Uh. Amen. You do it trembling with fear and trembling reverence, Yahweh, because I'm glad to be saved. And, and I don't want to do anything to hinder or, or, or cause me to stumble or, or miss out on the kingdom of Yahweh. Because what Yahweh has done and given me is so good, we don't want to miss out. Amen. Amen. So we do it with fear. In other words, we take it to heart. We take our salvation to heart. Amen. It's not just confessing some words, but we take it to heart. And after we take to heart as Ephesians here, we become his workmanship. Amen. There is some work required of us to move in the things of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. It's not to stay on the sideline and just wave your hand, but it's time to get in the game and begin to become a player. Well, Amen. And do the work of Yahweh. Amen. 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 Praise him this morning. And then he said, For it is Elohim which working in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It's mm -hmm. something that's going to be repeated, but how you know faith come by hearing and hearing by the word? Well, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Every time we read this word, we get a, a revelation or we get some enlightenment yes. on what Yahweh is talking about. Amen. 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 Matter of fact, I woke up, I was just in a, in a kind of like in a light sleep, and Yahweh yes. began to reveal with me about the light. Yes. How that we are the light. Yes. How we ought to let our light shine. Yes. And then in these next few verses, it's going to show why we need to let our light shine. Well. It's good to talk about something, but it's also good to be a doer of the word of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. We can talk about a condition, but what are we doing about the condition? It's all right to talk about the condition of your life, but what are you doing to change that condition in your life? Amen. Amen. But also, according to the word, the word will help us change those things in our lives. Yeah. Praise Yahweh. I can say many things about Johnny, and I'm leaving Johnny out, but hey, I can boost it up and, and, and up, uplift myself, but is it in line with the word of Yahweh? Well. I'm looking for a scripture. Every man seem right in his own eyes. Yeah. Every man see what he do is right in his own eyes, but Yahweh wears, looked at the heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Yahweh pumps the heart. I'm looking for that scripture. I want you to get it and look at it. Amen. Because we all think we're right in one way or another. Yes. Amen. Yes. But it's in line according to Yahweh's word. Yes. What Proverbs? Proverbs 16 and 2. Proverbs 16 and 2. I looked all over this morning. I said, the devil is alive. So somebody in the house over his head. Amen. And if I go to my Bible, I got it wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every man seemed to be right in his own eyes. But Yahweh wears what? The spirit. Yahweh looks at the spirit. Yes. Only what you do in the spirit is going to matter with Yahweh. Yes. Praise Yahweh this morning. Yes. We can talk a good game, run a good game, but at the end of the day, Yahweh looks at all of it. Yes. Was it from the heart? Amen. 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 Praise Amen. Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So he, it is Yahweh with work within us. So Yahweh is doing a work. Yahshua is doing a work in your life. But we have to let him do this work in our lives. We have to come and have the desires of Yahshua. Hey, Amen. Amen. I did share last week, sometimes we do have a desire. Mm -hmm. But if your desires is not evil and wicked, he will answer, he he's waiting your desire to pray. Right. Amen. Right. It's according to his word. Amen. Amen. Praise him this morning. Because sometimes you can think on a thing. Come on. You desire something, you can think on it. And Yahweh will cause it to come to pass. Any witness in the house this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you were honest with Yahweh. Hallelujah. You said, well, I don't got to have it. I don't really need it. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's a desire of mine. Mm -hmm. and Yahweh, because you are my daughter, my son, Yahshua said, let him have it. Amen. Yeah. Or let them have it. Praise him this morning. Yeah. But in the spirit, he's working his desire mm -hmm. in us. Yeah. Amen. How many don't do the things you used to do? Amen. Hey, Amen. 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 Some things you might still try, some things might still try to come back. Yeah. But you take authority to it, don't you? Because you tell it, that's not me now. Amen. That doesn't belong to us. Amen. Amen. Praise him this morning. But then you then you can see y'all were working something in you. Yeah. Praise him this morning. Amen. When you was a liar, the Bible tell you don't lie no more. Amen. When you was a cheater, you don't cheat now. Yeah, when you were stealing, you don't steal now. Amen. See, those are changes that are taking place preach, in preach. your life. That's all right. Praise Yahweh. Pray when you need to love like you ought to love, now you're learning how to love yeah. because of the why the word tells me uh, and the Holy Spirit helped me or uh, help us to show how to love. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'll praise it this morning. Amen. When I read the scripture, love your enemies. Mm. Do good to those that spitefully use you. Preach. That's a hard saying. When it comes to the flesh. Right. But thank God we, we can't walk in the flesh. We got to, we can walk, see, we have his desires, and he is working his desires in us, yes. and we want to be more like Yahshua. Amen. Amen. So we are training and working with ourselves to be like Yahshua. Doesn't matter how long you work, or don't matter how, how long it takes. You stay connected, and he will work some things in you. All Amen. Right, all right. oh, I'll praise it this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you've been saved, mm -hmm. but if you have a heart and a desire to want to please Yahweh, you may not be doing 50%. 
But at least you're trying to do 10%. Amen. He'll take that 10% Amen. and work with that. Amen. 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 And after a while, he'll become 100 or 50%. Amen. Praise him this morning. Amen. Because the more you allow your way to work in our lives, the more you want to do the things that are pleasing to him. Praise him this morning. Amen. Amen. So it's, it, see, it is Elohim. It is God. I ain't scared to say God Amen. to you. It's God. Maybe you get a better understanding when I say it is God. Can you say it is God? It is God. Can you say it again? It is God. It is God. Now can you say it is Yahweh? It is Yahweh. Can you say it again? It is Yahweh. It is Yahweh. Working in me. Working in me. Both the will. Both the will. And do His good pleasure. And do His good pleasure. You have your own will. You have your own will. You have your own will. Huh? And you want to work His will in us. Hey. So when people see you, you are demonstrating Him. And you are demonstrating Him in your life. Amen. Amen. That's all you right. sure want. Is I just want you to be like me. That's all. It is not hard. It's not hard. We make it hard. Because we get in our preconception mind. Right, that's right. Huh? Yeah, I hear what the words say, but I think my way is better than Yahweh's way. How many have been like that? Amen. Amen. Huh? Or instead of letting Yahweh do it, we feel I can do it better than he can. Amen. And a lot of times we won't do it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yahweh moving a little too slow. Yeah. He's not moving fast enough. <laughs> but also in the meantime, to be like Yahweh, we have to have patience. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you cry. Yeah. I'm not ignoring your call and your cry, but I want, I'm, I'm, I'm developing something in you. Uh, yeah. Something, a character that you didn't have too good or wasn't so, praise Yahweh, it didn't work too good in your head when, oh, hallelujah, I took my word. It, 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 you, patience, you have a problem with it. Huh? Amen. You struggle with patience. Hallelujah. So he said, I see this area in your life. Mm -hmm. I hear you cry. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you. Mm -hmm. But right now, I just want to work some patience. Yes, yeah. I don't want you to be still and listen to me. And after a while, if you be still and listen to him, he'll give you some direction. Yes, yes. Why? Because you're patient yes, and you wait yes, on Yahweh. Yes. And you didn't get ahead of him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So sometimes we get ahead of him. Yes. But then the outcome of the results is not good. That's right. Then you have to back up and regroup. Now, the Holy Spirit of Ruach Adidas have already told you now. Just wait. Just wait. Sometimes you hear words that just wait. Mm -hmm. But things ain't right. And I tell you what, it looks like it's getting getting this way and that way. And he's telling you, wait. <laughs> well, if I hurry up, don't do this and don't do that. I got to run to the finance company. I know they charge all the history, but Yahshua said, wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. Now he might be getting ready to cancel your debt out. Hi, right. All right. You got it. We get impatient. Then we get ahead of Yeshua. Yes. I'm just using some illustration. That's all. Amen. I'm not saying nobody's like that. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. But he's working his desire in us. Yes. And sometimes when he's working the desires in us, that thing seems kind of a little hard. I can't deal with that. I don't know why I can handle that. Mm. Mm. But he said, I'm working my desire in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory. That's it. See, in order to see, to see the finished product on a piece of wood, it's rough, mm -hmm. knotty. Oh, man, barks on it. But then you got to take a sander mm -hmm. and you got to sand it down. Yeah. Now, you don't take no fine paper. You take some rough sand paper hey, first. Hey, hey. Amen. You got to get all the old all the oil stain off of it. Mm -hmm. All the nicks and bruises out of it. And you got to take that rough sandpaper and you got to rub it. And then as you rub it, it don't look too good. 
Oh, praise him this morning. Amen. But when you have the wine and after you get it down to where it needs to be or to a serving, then you come back with a, another coarse, not too fine, but another coarse sandpaper, and you rub it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is bring the perfection of the wood out. Mm -hmm. So when you put the stain on it, it's going to step out. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise him this morning. Oh, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> but when you take that, after you put the stain on it, then you take that fine sandpaper. Then you kind of rub up a little bit. But it looks like you're scratching it all up. And you look at it and say, look at my finished work. Look how it's turning out. Don't worry about what it looked like right now. Just, just take that. If you put another coat on it and wipe up this sand and that smooth sandpaper and run it over a little Preach. bit more. And after a while, it comes out to be beautiful. Yes. And see, when you put some stain on it, it runs a little bit. And you got to get, you got to take care of the runs that's on the wood. Because that's imperfection. Oh, praise it this morning. How many will buy something that's imperfected out of the store? When you will spend your hard earned money, you want to be right, perfect, and everything, aren't you? Don't you? Yes. Amen? Am I right about it? Because if you got a default in it, you don't own it. Am I right about it? Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we have to be perfect. That's what Yahweh is doing to us mm -hmm. in our lives. Glory. It seems like he's rubbing us hard with some rough stuff. Mm -hmm. But let him rub you. Let him just smooth you out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get the picture this morning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And after a while, he'll take that fine sandpaper. Yeah. Don't have to rub as much. Preach. Take less work. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And after a while, he'll have to bother you at all. Because mm -hmm. now he got you where he wants you to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Now you're walking in his glory, yes. and you're looking like him now. Ah, yeah. oh, glory. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, you're shining like a light. Oh, glory. And others can see the perfect, that great perfection, that perfectness in you. Hallelujah. That's all right. Glory, glory this morning. Glory. I didn't want to bring that. You know, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the illustration yeah. he gave me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And spins on some wood, it takes a little longer than other wood. White pine is not too bad. Sometimes oak is not too bad. But it depends on the type of wood you're working with. Amen. Amen. Some can be a gum tree. Uh, uh, <laughs> they use gum wood. Yeah. Or maple. Mm -hmm. But one thing about white pine is not too bad to work with, from my experience. Praise Yahweh. Because it's soft. It's a soft wood. The others are hard. Oak is kind of hard wood. Took a little more for the finish to get on it. And see, just because you're not where you ought to be right now, let stay and let him shine you and polish you and sand you. Because you're rubbing some things off of us so we can look just like him. And that's the whole idea of Yahshua. It's us being like him mm -hmm. in this world that we're living in. Amen. Not when we get to heaven right now. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> but he said, Paul said, look, look, Philippians. I know where you've been. Mm. I know where Yahweh have brought you from. Mm. Amen. Woman down by the riverside, except Yahshua the life on the Sabbath day. Devil nation woman got demons cast out. See, sometimes we got to deal with our imperfection. Mm -hmm. And it takes the anointing to get them laid out of us. Huh? Amen. 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 How many of you know the yoke, the anointing what what? Destroy yokes. Amen. And remove burdens. Mm -hmm. Cleanse us up. Got to think about where we were before we got saved. Mm -hmm. And after we got saved, you brought all that mess along with you. Yes. We did. Right. Yeah, you was a lying Christian, a stealing Christian, a backbiting Christian, an argumenting Christian. But after you got into the Word, and Yahshua started rubbing on you, he said, I can't have that in my kingdom. Amen. I can't have that of being a part of your life. Right. Amen. Amen. He said, I got to work on you a little bit. Praise Yahweh. Well, I just want to work on you some. See, the finished work is already done. Yeah. But he want to work out those imperfections that's in our lives. Yeah. And sometimes we want to hold on to some of those imperfections that doesn't bring glory to Yahweh. Amen. Amen. You want them all out. Amen. Amen. And it takes a little time to get them all out. Amen. Amen. And I will say this, because I said, I'm going to bring myself in the message. And the first guy saved, I done told him before, I had an anger problem. See, I had See what I'm saying? 
go from zero to hundred a hundred in no time. Just flip. But in myself, by reading the word, I know it wasn't right. And I've been long, long ago, I told Yahweh, I said, Yahweh, if you don't change, I can't be changed. Right. And not that I don't want to change. I said, if you don't do it, I can't do it. Amen. I don't try to do it. But if you do it, I know it's done. Amen. Talk to him just like that. I didn't have a pity party about it. I used to have pity parties. Downhearted, mad with myself. Kicking the floor and kicking everything and mad because that happened. Mm. I said, it's all right, son. I'm working on you. Because if he didn't have something, Paul said, he, he's still working on us. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he said, my grace is sufficient. He may not take it all out of the way. Yeah, but he said, my grace is sufficient. Yeah. I'll give you yeah. enough grace to be able to yeah. go along with him. Amen. Amen. Because see, you know what to do if that happened to you. Hallelujah. You know how to say forgive me. Yes. See, some people do that don't have for no forgiveness. Right. See, he's like, I got to work on them some more. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if you happen to, if you happen to, he said, I can trust you because I know you got a heart of forgiveness. Amen. And you ain't going to be a long time doing it. Because you don't want your relationship to be shut off from Yahweh for a long period of time. Amen. Amen. You, you hear what you understand? See, those things that we do sometimes can hinder it. If we don't correct it, it causes our relationship to be broken. Amen. You're still a son of Yahweh. Amen. You're still a child of Yahshua. Amen. But you have broken fellowship now. Right. Yahshua, Yahshua is saying, I can't come in. Bless. Because you haven't corrected that yet. Mm. And when you corrected that, now we can commune with one another. Mm. It is a good thing to be able to commune with Yahweh. Amen. Have fellowship with Him. Amen. 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 Praise Him this morning. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Look what Paul went on to share. He said, but I, I, he said that you may what be blameless. Hmm? That you may be blameless. Yes. Huh? So that one can speak a word of blame. So that one can't, so that no one can speak a word of blame against you. Is anybody speaking blame against you? Amen. Huh? That's all he's saying. Mm -hmm. If you let me work in you, let and let me get the imperfection out of you, you become more like me, you won't act like me. Mm -hmm. Praise him this morning. Amen. Praise him. Oh, Amen. praise him. Hallelujah. That ye may be blameless. Huh? Blameless. That ye may be well, what? Blameless. Amen. And what? Harmless. That we may be innocent, pure, nobody having no blame against you. Amen. Nobody having no evil thing to say about you. Mm. Amen. 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 Because you know how we are when we are going to have, we say, Yahshua, Yahshua. Isn't Yahweh good? Oh. Isn't the Lord good? Yes. Sometimes we ain't Jesus good. Hallelujah. Amen. Look what God has done for me. And I'm so glad. But when you get rough, get that hard sandpaper, and it rub you the hard way, you say, oh, no. Speak <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, you rub me the wrong way. It's good this morning. Amen. 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 This is just elementary it's stuff. Praise God. It's good. But it's good. Amen. Because this is where we are sometimes. That's right. Hallelujah. The character of Christ in us, mm -hmm. coming out of us, mm -hmm. in any given situation. Mm -hmm. And we are growing because we are learning how, even though you rob me the wrong way, I'm still going to treat with love. Yes, I'm still going to have the character of Yahshua. Yes, I'm not going to get bent out of shape. I'm not going to stop speaking to you. Uh, I'm not going to stop hugging you. I'm not going to stop saying kind words to you. Oh, uh, praise the Lord. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. I'm still going to tell you how much I love you, brother or sister. In Yahshua, amen. Because see, you're not looking at the wrong way of being rubbed. You're allowing the character of Christ to come out of us. 
And then when we don't forgive, we hinder our blessings. Yeah. That's right. We hold up. You're saying, what's going on? Why can't I be blessed? Think, examine yourself. Right. It's easy to examine somebody else. Come on. It's easy to look at Deaconess Green over there. Preach. Yeah, glory. I ain't saying she's doing that bad. Amen. She's doing all good. Amen. Amen. But if your eye is fixed on her, you you type your the enemy will show you something anyway. Even, right. even he has to camouflage it to right. make it look like it's seen that what it's not. Amen. Our glory is Lord. And sometimes we go off on the wrong intuition. Yeah. Wrong eye look. Yeah. And matter of fact, her heart wasn't even there for the kid. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Preach. Whatever we do, let it be through the eyes of Yahshua. Oh, yeah. And then if we're looking through the eyes of Yahshua, I'm not, we're not looking for fault. That's yeah. right. We are looking for the good yeah. in the individual. Because yeah. every one of us is not where we think we ought to be. That's right. Because see, you're exalting yourself now. Amen. The Bible says, let Yahweh do the exalting. Yeah. Yeah. We must humble ourselves yeah. and let him do the exalting. Yeah. Yeah. According to the word. Amen. Amen. But I want you to be easy. He's telling Philippian church, I, I, I ain't going to be with you always. I'm not going 